So uh, I want to go through for our next question how you can create that NFS share and present it or add it to that ESXi host in a, in a, in a cluster. As you know, we have that uh, new functionality on a vSAN cluster like a vSAN file service share and you can simply add it to ESXi host as in a version 3, for example. And as you can see in, in, the, in the lab, maybe they present you or you provide you the files, which is you have to first of all enable that services here, and after that you can create that NFS share. But I want to go through with that NFS share creation now. And for a reason, simply you can click on your cluster, come to the configuration here, scroll down to the file shares. And you can see here would be nothing with a vSAN file share. There is a possibility for a container file volume or you can filter by all. And also if you want to double check that services, you can come to that vSAN services here for file share. And file service, Yeah, my connection is gone already, I think. It's back? Good. And you can see that file service is enabled. You know? So, I back to the file shares. Here, I said add. And simply you can put the name, for example, you can say Cloud HBA. And that protocol will be, will be NFS and NFS 3, NFS 4.1, or both. I would say they ask you, for example, you, you have to enable with that both security mode or just uh, with that, sorry, with that version 4, 3, or 4.1, or no, just a specific with that both version there. And also, I leave it as it is, as in a recent default storage policy. Also, maybe they ask you for uh, create that hard code. For example, I can give the file share write, I don't know, five gigabytes. And if there is a threshold going for three gigabyte, just share the warning threshold for me. And I said next. And I would say that allow IPX from any any source and destination and finish. So after a while, it must be visible here. Let me double check that. Yes, that's already sorted for creation of vSAN file share. And now we have that cloud HBA here. You can select that for their purposes and set for copy path. Let me open notepad here we want to double check something here and that would be a path of nfs3 which is i already copy that on a clipboard and oh i didn't maximize that for you sorry and now that nfs4 i have it already okay so the name of that server is same in NFS version 3, that the structure for the, the server name is same on a, also version 4.1. But regarding that, uh, that folder path, that's a little bit different. So what I want to do now is just present that version 3 to the ESXi host. So for the purposes, first of all, just I copy that on a clipboard. I select one ESXi host. You can go over there and refresh or rescan the storage and after that come back here right click on the storage and say new data so you have to select that nfs nfs version 3 and the data store name would be again cloud for example hba 01 and the server i paste it here and let me grab that path of folder and I again paste it here. You can uh, set that access mode like 
mount that NFS as read only, it means if you put some data in that NFS, just will be uh, present to that ESXi host as an readable item, or if you leave it as it is, it would be read and write access on it. So it doesn't matter, and finish. After a while, it must be somehow present here, and you can see that there is an, for example, a storage here called CloudHPA01. Okay, that's cool. And if you right-click on that storage here in a storage section, you can mount it, did it, uh, mount it uh, as an additional uh, to the different host. For example, if you have that E601 and E602 and simply says OK, just wait for a while and after that, that would be also visible by E6 hosts there. And now you can see that all uh, presented already here. It means if I come over there, Core A, I don't know how much is, how big is it, for example, as an storage site. And you can say migrate that, change the storage only, next. You have that cloud HPA, and next, finish. I don't know if, yeah, that's finished already. I come back here on a cloud HPA 01 VMs. You can see one VM is already on it. So I hope you enjoyed that video. That's a really short video, but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell and turn on the notification for new videos. I will be there for you. And also put your comment down below if you have any idea or question regarding that VCAP exam or any idea about uh, the other product of VMware. Simply you can contact me, put your idea uh, down below. I will be keeping in touch with you. Save with me for a next video.